Alright, hey guys, welcome back to this episode of The Brewing Machine, and this one is of course how to set up the actual part of brewing, um, although it isn't the final stage because you'll need to set up an input system which will be in the next episode. So f from this is from our last episode, and of course you have your water bottles in here, this is your water bottle chest obviously. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use redstone tubing this time around and we're going to set up something like that and from there, might need to go one further I believe we're going to put it to a brewing stand so the brewing stand is obviously, this is going to be where the first round of brewing occurs and if you're only making awkward potions or single brewing potions you could end it there and just have it, them that go to a chest but obviously I have no intention of doing that at all I have much more plans for these, and I have done that wrong. There should be a chest there, and so that's where the input's going to come in through. I did put it upside down. Right there we go. So from here, there should be three. If I just pulse this once. Um, So if I just give this a single pulse, you'll see that this thing will fill up with three water bottles. And then of course it would pulse and that something would send in through the top, such as nether, uh, a nether ward or something like that. So now we're going to put three um, filters in here. And this is going to, these are going to take out the... This, for this one, I'm making um, potions of rest. Oh, I don't even know what they're called now. But anyway, this one will be an awkward potion maker. So you have nether ward in the top, just because I find that an easy. I'm not out too far. Don't waste space because it is quite a big machine. Rightio. So there's your first one done, and then we're just going to repeat that um, pretty much all another two times because that'll this will allow it to turn into a potion of whatever you want. So this this one will turn it into a potion of hmm, I don't even know what it's called now. But I will skip ahead and I'll just do these next two parts which are going to be very like exactly identical to this one. Okay, so if you look here, I've just copied this design here twice. So there's three in total and now all I'm going to do is actually just whoops, I've done that wrong. I'm going to wire up everything. So everything needs to have something connected to it. Oops. So all these filters are fine, but the top filter also... All these filters will be powered through the redstone tubes, but the top ones are also going to need powering. So you're going to need to do a bit of a separate uh, wiring on that one. So you can just do it like that, actually. That'll save you a few. Um, so something just like that. Perfect, and then connect these ones up with a jacketed cable. That'll um, keep you running perfectly. And then, of course, all these ones are going to be powered so far. And you want this... Oops, not that one. That one's on a different circuit. So, as you can see, everything here is powered. And all I would need to do would be to put a pulse on here, which is actually going to be for 25 seconds, because it takes 20 seconds, a tiny bit over 20 seconds, so 20 point three or whatever it is to make um, one brewing stand or one brew kind of thing so for that to convert into awkward potions and awkward potions to convert into whatever else so that'll connect up there perfectly and this will be a fully automated system and if you didn't want to set up an input system to make this so much easier then you could end here but I am going to set up a way to uh, automatically insert items into these chests so it'll make it so much more simple for you to um, turn items into well brew. So stay tuned for the next one. So if you like this one, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, like our Facebook page, and of course post on our wall any video requests for the future. And of course stay tuned for the sorting and ordering section of this mini series. DJ out.